When China sneezes, the rest of the world catches a cold but Europe has become so reliant on China that it not only catches a cold but also catches the flu. So, it doesn't come as a surprise that the European Union has taken a series of protectionist measures in recent years to address concerns over the rise of Chinese dominance in the electric vehicle, EV, and battery manufacturing sectors. In October 2024, the EU imposed tariffs ranging from 7.8% to 35.3% on Chinese-made electric vehicles, citing substantial government subsidies that allegedly distort the European market. If you are new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub so you never miss another video. The European Union has implemented a series of tariffs and restrictions on Chinese products, particularly targeting the electric vehicle sector, in an effort to shield the European automotive industry from what the EU perceives as unfair competition. However, despite these protective measures, the European automotive sector has faced significant challenges. Volkswagen, Europe's largest automaker, has announced plans to close factories and reduce wages as part of its cost-cutting efforts amid the industry crisis. Similarly, Ford has announced the reduction of 4,000 jobs across its European operations, focusing on Germany and the UK, and is lowering production estimates for its electric vehicle models, adding to the strain on the European automotive industry. The challenges faced by the European automotive industry are not limited to the major players. Robert Bosch GmbH, the world's largest automotive supplier by revenue, recently announced plans to cut 5,500 jobs globally, with 3,800 of those cuts in Germany. These reductions primarily target positions related to automated driving and car steering products, as the company cites significant overcapacity in the automotive industry, compounded by intensifying competition and mounting price pressures. These developments highlight the difficulties faced by the European automotive sector despite the EU's efforts to shield it from Chinese competition. The tariffs and restrictions imposed on Chinese-made electric vehicles have not translated into a resurgence of the European industry as hoped. Instead, major automakers like Volkswagen and Ford are being forced to make significant cuts, including factory closures and job reductions, in an attempt to remain competitive and weather the industry crisis. This suggests that the European automotive industry is facing deeper structural challenges that extend beyond the competition from Chinese manufacturers. The job cuts at Robert Bosch, the world's largest automotive supplier, further illustrate the broader pressures facing the industry. The company's decision to reduce its workforce, particularly in areas related to automated driving and car steering, reflects the overcapacity and intensifying competition in the automotive sector. These developments raise concerns about the long-term viability of the European automotive industry and its ability to adapt to the rapidly evolving market, which is characterized by technological advancements, shifting consumer preferences, and global competitive forces. The EU's protectionist measures may have provided some temporary relief, but they have not been sufficient to address the fundamental challenges facing the European automotive sector. Addressing these challenges will likely require a more comprehensive and strategic approach that goes beyond trade barriers and focuses on fostering innovation, improving efficiency, and enhancing the industry's overall competitiveness. The collapse of yet another emerging battery manufacturer in Europe has dealt a significant blow to the region's ambitions in the electric vehicle and energy storage sectors. The recent bankruptcy filing of Northvolt, once seen as a beacon of hope for Europe's electric vehicle battery aspirations, highlights the formidable challenges that the continent continues to face in this critical industry. Founded in 2016 by former Tesla executives, Northvolt was established with the goal of creating a sustainable European supply chain for lithium-ion batteries, reducing the continent's reliance on Asian manufacturers. However, the company's demise serves as a sobering reminder of the uphill battle that European players face against their Chinese counterparts, whose dominance in the global EV battery market has proven insurmountable. Chinese manufacturers like CATL and BYD have cemented their position as industry leaders, largely due to the support of their governments, extensive access to raw materials, and vertically integrated supply chains. These advantages have allowed them to outcompete their European rivals, leaving Northvolt and other European battery startups struggling to keep pace. 
Despite the EU's attempts to curb this Chinese dominance through tariffs and restrictions on the import of Chinese batteries, these measures have failed to achieve their intended results. Instead, they have inadvertently raised costs for local manufacturers, further straining their already fragile positions. This, in turn, has placed a significant burden on automakers across Europe, who are dependent on affordable battery supplies to power their electric vehicle offerings. The collapse of Northvolt is a significant setback for Europe's electric vehicle and energy storage ambitions, as the company was seen as a key player in the region's efforts to establish a robust and self-sufficient battery ecosystem. Its bankruptcy filing serves as a stark reminder of the challenges that the European industry faces in keeping up with the rapid advancements and scale of production achieved by its Chinese counterparts. This latest development also casts a shadow over the broader European strategy to reduce its reliance on Asian battery manufacturers and assert its technological and industrial prowess in this critical sector. The failure of Northvolt, despite the EU's efforts to protect and nurture its homegrown battery industry, underscores the need for a more comprehensive and strategic approach to addressing the issues at hand. As the European automotive and energy storage industries continue to grapple with these challenges, the collapse of Northvolt serves as a wake-up call for policymakers and industry leaders alike. Addressing the underlying structural and competitive barriers will require a multi-pronged strategy that goes beyond trade barriers and focuses on fostering innovation, improving supply chain resilience, and enhancing the overall competitiveness of the European battery industry. The stakes are high, and the future of Europe's electric vehicle and energy storage ambitions may very well depend on the ability of the continent to overcome the formidable challenges posed by its Chinese rivals. Despite the EU's efforts, Chinese companies continue to expand their global footprint, even setting up production facilities in Europe to bypass trade barriers. These developments highlight the immense challenges faced by European firms like Northvolt in competing with well-established Asian players. The factors leading to Northvolt's bankruptcy are a microcosm of the broader challenges facing the European EV and battery industries. The company's downfall can be attributed to a combination of production challenges, financial instability, and fierce market competition. Northvolt's flagship factory in Skelleftea, Sweden, faced persistent delays in scaling up operations and quality control issues, which led to missed production targets and undermined trust with key clients, including major automakers. In June 2024, BMW canceled a $2 billion order dealing a severe blow to Northvolt's reputation and financial health. Financially, Northvolt struggled to maintain stability, reporting a loss of $1.2 billion in 2023 despite raising substantial capital. Revenues during the same period were only $128 million, while debt obligations reached $5.8 billion by the time of the bankruptcy filing. The company's cash reserves had dwindled to just $30 million, and attempts to mitigate the crisis through layoffs and cost-cutting measures failed to address the deeper structural issues. Investors, including prominent stakeholders like Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust and Goldman Sachs, also bore the brunt of Northvolt's collapse, with the latter reporting a $900 million loss on its investment. The global EV battery market's dominance by Asian manufacturers, particularly Chinese firms, further exacerbated Northvolt's challenges. Companies like CATL and LG Energy Solution benefit from established supply chains, economies of scale, and government subsidies that Northvolt could not match. Chinese manufacturers' ability to set competitive price points and secure long-term supply contracts with automakers worldwide posed a significant threat to Northvolt's business model. The European company's ambitions to create a sustainable and locally sourced battery supply chain were hampered by the high costs of raw material extraction and processing in Europe, coupled with stringent environmental regulations. In contrast, Chinese manufacturers operating in regions with lower labor and regulatory costs were able to achieve higher margins while maintaining a steady output. The aggressive expansion of Chinese battery giants, including investments in overseas facilities, further solidified their global footprint and created a competitive environment that proved exceedingly difficult for newer entrants like Northvolt to navigate. 
Northvolt's Chapter 11 filing marks a significant turning point, allowing the company to restructure its finances while maintaining limited operations. The filing secured $245 million in debtor in possession financing, with $100 million contributed by Scania, a major shareholder and Swedish truck manufacturer. This financing is intended to support Northvolt through the restructuring process and provide a financial buffer during its critical transition period. In addition to the financial measures, the company announced key leadership changes, with CEO and co-founder Peter Carlson stepping down from his role, though he remains on the board to assist with the restructuring efforts. These moves aim to stabilize Northvolt while it re-evaluates its strategy and seeks a path to recovery, though the long-term success of these efforts remains uncertain given the competitive pressures and structural issues the company faces. Northvolt's collapse serves as a stark reminder of Europe's ongoing dependence on Asian battery suppliers, particularly in the face of ambitious EV production targets. The failure to establish a robust domestic battery industry raises significant concerns about the feasibility of meeting these goals without a stronger European supply chain. This reliance not only impacts the availability and pricing of critical components but also exposes the industry to geopolitical risks and supply chain disruptions. The downfall of Northvolt has also shaken investor confidence in the sector, as capital-intensive battery manufacturing carries substantial financial risks, and Northvolt's failure has underscored the challenges of scaling up operations in a competitive market dominated by established players. Future investments in similar ventures may face greater scrutiny as stakeholders become increasingly cautious about the viability of such projects. Northvolt's story offers important lessons about the balance between ambition and operational practicality. While the company pursued aggressive growth plans and aimed to compete on a global scale, it struggled to align its financial and operational strategies effectively. The collapse highlights the critical need for startups to ensure scalability, maintain financial sustainability, and build resilience against market pressures. Furthermore, Northvolt's bankruptcy calls for a renewed focus on policy support at both the national and European Union levels. Governments may need to reevaluate and strengthen incentives for domestic battery production to foster industrial resilience and reduce reliance on imports. Effective policies could include subsidies, grants for innovation, and measures to secure raw material supply chains, enabling a more competitive European battery ecosystem. Northvolt's bankruptcy is a cautionary tale of the challenges faced by Western companies in the competitive and capital-intensive EV battery sector. Despite its promising start, the company's inability to scale production efficiently, secure sustained funding, and compete with established players led to its downfall. As the industry grapples with the implications, stakeholders must prioritize collaboration, innovation, and policy support to rebuild Europe's EV battery ambitions. The failure of Northvolt serves as a wake-up call, underscoring the need for a more strategic and coordinated approach to developing a robust, self-sufficient battery industry in Europe. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.